Hey everybody, so welcome back to Jim Bob's Garden. So today what I want to talk about is pest control. So I've, I've heard so many different things about how to control pests in your garden. Uh, a lot of people use various different um, insecticides and I don't like the idea of insecticides. For one, my goal is to get my, my bug ecosystem going properly where the amount of uh, uh, predator bugs basically balances out with the the prey all right so one of the biggest issues that we have here in Jacksonville is squash bugs um, squ uh, cucumber beetles squash bugs same kind of thing um, and it's really really hard to try and keep those down um, there's a couple of things you can do um, that will help one is camouflage so by camouflage um, what I'm talking about is various different plants in and around the plants you want to protect that will um, camouflage and hopefully um, confuse the pest where they don't hone in on your cucumbers and squash and, and cantaloupes and, and things like that so that's one way is the camouflage now I do that with a square foot garden. I also do that with a couple of different things. Uh, let me show you. All right, so one of the ways that I do this is I put um, oregano. Now oregano is a very aromatic plant and I've got it growing all over the place. And then I've got bee balm here, another aromatic plant to hopefully confuse the pests. I mean, I've got it all over the place. I've got it up in here. Uh, I put oregano all over and it, and it grows fantastic and in fact, um, what I'll do, it's about due for another trimming, is I'll come in and I'll trim it and make it look kind of like a small mini hedge along the edges of my plants or my beds. The other thing that I do is I plant a lot of marigolds. All right, you can see I've got the baby marigolds coming up. All right, and they're doing very well. I got to pull some weeds out of there, but they'll, they'll grow out. And I mean, last year, they were all the way out to about where my shadow is. All right. Another thing I do is I'll interplant a lot of different things. Like in here to protect my lettuce, I have dill plants growing. And then I have not only peppers, dill, I've got some broccoli, lettuce, merlot lettuce, onions. And the idea is that all of this will help to confuse the bugs. And if you look down here at my um, chard, chard is one of the things that gets chewed up more than probably just about anything else. And it seems to be doing okay in here. I've got a little bit of pest damage, like right there on that leaf, you can see. But for the most part, the lettuce and the um, um, chard is doing well. Now these here, these are grasshoppers. If you can catch them, kill them. Because they just tear stuff up. Yeah. Bug juice. I mean, those grasshoppers will just eat you out of house and home. So that's a couple of different ways that you can plant uh, that will help you to camouflage the smell and hopefully keep most of the pests off of your, uh, the, the things that you want to keep. Now, does this work 100%? No, heck no. It takes a lot to really confuse the pests. Like you can see here, the only spinach I've got growing very well so far is up right up underneath that garlic. Garlic is another great way to camouflage the smell and hopefully keep the pests off. So we got cucumbers growing along here and the idea is that they will grow up this trellis and hopefully be suspended up which is a great way to you know maximize your space but so I want to do something to go ahead and um, kind of camouflage the scent of the cucumbers all right so one of the ways i can do this is i am going to plant radishes along the outside of my cucumber now i had seen online that um, one of the trap crops potentially is radishes now how true that is i don't know i've never really tried it out but we're going to give it a shot I mean, worst comes to worst, 
I grow some radishes and it doesn't really do anything for me as far as pests but I grow some radishes so another means of actually um, protecting your crops is something called trap cropping so if you look here what I have is some baby amaranth some little tiny baby amaranth and I'm gonna plant them around all throughout my garden here basically in the corners and hopefully I will get those to grow up and they will do two things for me one of the things about amaranth is it is an excellent um, summer green all right they will grow very well in the summertime here has been my experience so far they seem to love the warm temperatures and from what I'm reading online at a fairly reputable website I believe is that amaranth um, in particular there's a dwarf type of amaranth I guess is something that does very well at trapping uh, cucumber beetles so I've got one there one there I'll plant a couple more over here now cucumber beetles don't just go after cucumbers they'll go after any kind of cu cucurbits now cucurbit is basically any kind of a squash slash cucumber pumpkin all of those things so some of the other pests that are associated with cucumbers and squash as well are uh, vine borers and uh, army worms. Now I don't know whether or not these plants will attract them, hopefully as well as the uh, cucumber beetles, but the idea is if I can get enough stuff out here to confuse things, then uh, we should be good to go. And then I have some uh, amaranth seed that I've collected from years past. Actually this is like four years old. But I know I planted some last year and they seem to grow up well. Uh, it does grow like a weed here. This stuff is fantastic. And like I said, it's an excellent source of greens in the summertime. So I'm just going to liberally sprinkle that along here. I'll make sure that I get plenty because I have a plenty of seed. plant that all throughout here and hopefully what will happen is I'll get a ton of amaranth growing up in here and squash plants get pretty tall but amaranth gets even taller so hopefully if I time this out properly what will end up happening is I will get a, a row of amaranth in here and that will attract the bugs and draw them away from the other plants that I'm really trying to protect up in here, like my squash, my cantaloupe, and my cucumbers. And even if it doesn't, I should have some nice greens for this summer. All right, so that's what I'm doing right now to try and protect my uh, cucumbers and squash here in my squash garden. And we'll let you know how it goes. All right, uh, keep in mind, insecticides are chemicals. Chemicals are bad, okay? They're bad for your body. They're bad for your kids. I highly recommend trying to grow as best you can without using chemicals to enhance the growth or to protect your plants. All right, thanks once again for stopping by. Do me a favor, give me a like and a subscribe. Let me know what you think. Most importantly, grow some, and then think about ways that you can naturally protect your plants and keep them growing well. All right, thanks once again. Y'all come back and see me.